Okay, we got a 1998 Land Rover Discovery. And if you can see it, the auto darkening liquid has run out of this mirror, making it rather dangerous. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change it. This is out of a uh, 2002 Land Rover Discovery. And if you'll notice, it has a little window for the compass. There isn't a temperature gauge on here on the newer Discoveries. It's actually on the climate control. So we're going to install this, see how it works. The one disadvantage is you're going to lose your little map lights or reading lights or whatever you want to call them that are underneath the Discovery 1. On uh, the Discovery 2, it's uh, just the three button uh, Linksys, which is what you already have here, so it's going to be dual redundant. But it'll be kind of neat to have the compass and uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, so we'll let you know how it what the wiring is and etc is involved. Okay, so to remove the first mirror, there's a Phillips screw right here on the side. You loosen that up and then it'll come off. And there's the mount plate that's mounted to the glass. You don't want to damage that. If you look at the mount plate on the new one, it's identical to the old one, so this should just slip right in and work just as it did it from the factory. <clears throat> I took down the center console. Uh, it's just a series of screws. You can see all the screw holes. There's, I guess, like 10 screws, and you just take them down. Um, and then behind it is all the plugs for the uh, lights, the sunroof switches, and etc. Just a little FYI, there's one of the motors for your forward uh, sunroof. Um, your Linksys has a small connector. I call it Linksys, I'm sorry. It's called Home Link. It's for your garage doors. That's the three button remote uh, on your center console. And the new one will have it actually on the mirror. Um, and we'll go from there. One thing I should say is to remove the, the, the new mirrors, you slide these two pieces off and then you just push up on it. There's no retaining screw. All right, it's now wired. Um, very interesting wiring that goes on with this thing because from the factory plug that's original to this car to the mirror that's original to this car, you'll see that the wires actually change. Uh, for instance, there's a green and an orange wire that turns into a white wire. The black wire remains black on the other side and the, uh, uh, see there's a gray, green and brown, which actually turns into a gray wire, which when you actually come all the way down, when I got this from the junkyard, they were kind enough to give me the actual uh, connector with a little bit of a, a feed on it. it. It turns back into those original colors. So the gray wire off of this uh, Discovery One mirror actually goes to the green and brown, the black to the black, and the green and white to the white. I don't know if you can see these colors very well or not. <clears throat> but you can see it works. Now what first comes up is a, it looks like it's going to be a temperature thing, uh, like this does have it. This mirror is actually used for many different kinds of cars, and then Rover uh, uses it for what they need, and they didn't program in the temperature being on the mirror. Again, as I said, it's down below. You can see that the auto darkening works. Um, sadly, it already went dark, but uh, because of my drop light, if I didn't have that on, then if you wait a while, it'll actually turn back to a clearer color. Maybe you can see a transition. So, functions as it should. I got a compass. I don't know. Compass is kind of a gimmick. The, the bottom lights would have been a little nicer, but you know, it's fun. It costs $30 at the local junkyard. If you want to do it, there's the instructions. Um, again, this thing, it's not going to be retained by any uh, screw. It just clips in and on the back side, it has a retention clip. Sorry if I'm doing poorly. I don't want to, the wires are exposed. I don't want them to touch. Uh, the retention clip keeps it held on and then you just put your plastic trim around it and reinstall everything and you're good. Here's the uh, finished product of the 2002 mirror in the uh, 
1998 disco. I haven't checked these switches yet to see if they work. Uh, I'll go through the programming and see if it works. But uh, got the little north, and as I showed before, the dimming does work. So it's a little update. I don't know if it's worth losing the lights for the compass, but whatever, 30 bucks. Thank you.